there's people in here far superior than me, but there's no one in here that's going to work harder than me. We get up at 5.30 in the morning. It's raining outside. Our competition's sleeping. I love that. I will not be outworked, period. Where I excel is ridiculous. Sickening work ethic while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. Talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. The commodity, the majority of people who aren't achieving the things that they want is strictly based on hustle. It's strictly based on being outworked. It's strictly based on missing crucial opportunities. You might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half-ass half their life all the time. I knew they were going to get tired. They were going to get down. They couldn't prove themselves. They start sleeping in. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to get up early. I'm going to keep getting wide. I'm going to stay relentless. I might not be the fastest, the strongest, or the smartest, none of that crap. But I will outwork you, and I flat out want it more than you. It's relentlessness, man. It's pushing past barriers. It's every time you get somewhere. It's wanting to go to the next level. You guys deserve it. What you are entitled to is an opportunity to show up and be your best. Everyone's like, you are lucky you got this. You are lucky everything. You just locked because before it was luck, it was a belief. And every day with no one watching at five in the morning by myself, I trained because I believed in it in hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it off. That's what luck is. That's what success is. Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. You got to look at how much you are working. You got to look at how much effort you are making. The intention you are putting out there, you got to cross the line in life. You got to go where nobody else wants to go. You got to work the hours nobody else wants to work. You have to resolve yourself today that you are going to dominate, that you are not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're going to dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play. And that takes some intestinal fortitude. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided I'm going to be a player. I decided at some point I get to choose who I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. I write these chapters. You don't need the world's permission. You don't need anyone's permission to be great. The only permission you need is from that who stares at you back in the mirror every day and a willingness to do the hard work longer, harder, and better than anyone. So what are you going to do? Are you going to buy another success program looking for the secret recipe that doesn't exist? Or are you going to go do something right freaking now and do something that brings you closer to greatness? That's your choice. You are here today because you want more. You are not satisfied with mediocrity. You are not content with just getting by. You are hungry for success and you know deep down that you are capable of greatness. But let me tell you something, knowing isn't enough, wanting isn't enough, dreaming isn't enough. The only thing that's going to get you where you want to go is action. Massive, relentless, unstoppable action. Look around you. In this room, in your workplace, in your community, you, everywhere you go, you are surrounded by people who are settling. They are sleepwalking through life, content to stay in their comfort zones, never pushing themselves to see what they are truly capable of, but not you. You are different. You are here because you have made a decision, a decision to be uh, extraordinary. Now, I'm going to tell you something that might be hard to hear, but it's the absolute truth. The world doesn't owe you anything. Success isn't going to fall into your lap. Nobody's going to hand you your dreams on a silver platter. If you want to achieve greatness, if you want to rise above the masses and create a life of abundance and fulfillment, there's only one way to do it. You have got to work harder than everyone else. When I say work harder, I'm not just talking about putting in more hours at the office. I'm talking about a level of commitment and intensity that most people can't even fathom. I'm talking about pushing yourself to your limits, day in and day out, when nobody's watching and nobody's cheering you on. I'm talking about doing the things that others aren't willing to do, sacrificing the things that others aren't willing to sacrifice. Let me paint you a picture. It's 5.30 in the morning. The alarm goes off. What do you do? If you're like most people, you hit the snooze button, you roll over and grab another 15 minutes of sleep. But not you. Not anymore. 
from this day forward, when that alarm sounds, you are up or your feet hit the floor before your mind has a chance to make excuses. While the rest of the world is still dreaming, you are out there making your dreams a reality. Success isn't about talent. It's not about luck. It's not about who you know or where you come from. Success is about outworking everyone around you. It's about being the first one in and the last one out. It's about doing the things that others won't do so you can live the life that others can't live. Think about the greats in any field, sports, business, science, the arts. What do they all have in common? An insane work ethic. Michael Jordan wasn't just the most talented basketball player of his generation. He was the hardest working. Elon Musk didn't revolutionize multiple industries by working nine to five. Steve Jobs didn't change the world by settling for good enough. These individuals understood a fundamental truth that I want you to burn into your mind right now. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. You might be thinking, but I'm not as smart as Einstein. I'm not as talented as Beyonce. I don't have the resources of Bill Gates. Stop right there. Those are excuses, and excuses are the nails used to build the house of failure. You don't need to be the smartest. You don't need to be the most talented. You don't need to start with a silver spoon in your mouth. All you need is the willingness to outwork everyone around you. Let me tell you a secret that the top 1% of achievers in the world know. Success is not about sprints, it's about endurance. It's not about working hard for a day or a week or even a month. It's about consistency. It's about showing up every single day, putting in the work when you feel like it and especially when you don't. Imagine two people starting a race. One is naturally fast, the other is average. The fast runner takes off like a shot, leaving the average runner in the dust. But here's the twist. This isn't a 100 meter dash. This is a marathon. As the miles wear on, the naturally fast runner starts to slow down. They haven't trained for endurance. They have relied on their natural talent. But the average runner, they keep going. They have trained for this. They have put in the miles when no one was watching. They have built the mental toughness to keep pushing when their body screams to stop. And you know what happens? Slowly but surely, they catch up. They pass the naturally talented runner. They win the race. That's what working harder than everyone else looks like. It's not about bursts of intensity. It's about relentless day in, day out effort. It's about doing the little things consistently over a long period of time. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, but I already work hard. I'm doing my best. Let me ask you this. Are you really, are you truly maxing out your potential every single day? Or are you, like most people, operating at 50% capacity, maybe 60% on a good day? Most people overestimate how hard they work. They think they're giving a 100%, but in reality, they are barely scratching the surface of what they are capable of. They work hard when they feel motivated, when the conditions are perfect, when they are in the mood. But true success doesn't care about your mood. It doesn't wait for perfect conditions. It demands consistent effort day after day, regardless of how you feel. I want you to think about your average day. How much time do you spend scrolling through social media? How many hours do you waste binge watching TV shows? How often do you hit the snooze button in the morning? Now, I'm not saying you can never relax or enjoy yourself. But if you are serious about success, if you are committed to working harder than everyone else, you need to take a hard look at how you are spending your time. Every minute you waste is a minute someone else is using to get ahead. While you are scrolling through Instagram, your competition is reading a book that will give them an edge. While you are binge watching Netflix, someone else is putting in extra hours to perfect their craft. While you are sleeping in, someone else is up early working on their goals. Now, I can already hear the objections, but I need work-life balance. I don't want to burn out. What about my family and friends? These are valid concerns, and I'm not advocating for a life of all work and no play. Well, here's what you need to understand. Working harder than everyone else doesn't mean you have to sacrifice everything else in your life. It means you need to be smarter about how you use your time. It means waking up an hour earlier to work on your side hustle before your day job. It means using your lunch break to study your network instead of gossiping with coworkers. It means turning off the TV and using that time to learn a new skill or plan your next move. It means making every minute count. When you start working harder than everyone else, when you start maximizing every moment of your day, 
you will find that you actually have more time for the things that truly matter because you are not wasting time on meaningless activities. You are focused, you are purposeful, you are efficient. Now, let's talk about something that stops a lot of people from working hard, fear, fear of failure, fear of success, fear of what others will think, fear of the unknown. These fears can paralyze you, keeping you stuck in your comfort zone, never pushing yourself to see what you are truly capable of. It's just a feeling, it's not real. It's a story you tell yourself. And you know what the antidote to fear is? Action, massive action. When you are working harder than everyone else, when you are fully committed to your goals, fear doesn't have room to breathe. You are too busy making progress to worry about what might go wrong. What's scarier? Taking a risk and possibly failing or looking back on your life in 20, 30, 40 years and realizing you never even tried. I'll tell you what's scarier, regret. The pain of discipline is nothing compared to the pain of regret. So I want you to make a pact with yourself right now. From this moment forward, you are going to push past your fears. You are going to embrace discomfort. You are going to do the things that scare you because that's where growth happens. That's where success lives. Your mind is the most powerful tool you have. It can be your greatest asset or your biggest obstacle. The way you think determines the actions you take and the actions you take determine the results you get. Most people have what I call a fixed mindset. They believe their abilities are set in stone. They think I'm not good at math or I'm not a creative person or I'm not cut out for leadership. And because they believe these things, they never push themselves to improve. They never take on challenges that might prove them wrong. But the most successful people in the world have what's called the growth mindset. They believe that their abilities can be developed through hard work, good strategies, and input from others. They see challenges as opportunities to grow. They embrace failure as a chance to learn. If you want to work harder than everyone else, if you want to achieve extraordinary success, you need to develop a, a growth mindset. You need to believe that you can improve, that you can learn, that you can become better than you are today. This means embracing challenges instead of avoiding them. It means persisting in the face of setbacks. It means seeing effort as the path to mastery. It means learning from criticism instead of ignoring it. It means finding lessons and inspiration in the success of others. When you have a growth mindset, working hard becomes easier because you are not just working for a specific goal. You are working to improve yourself. You are working to become the best version of yourself. And that journey never ends. There's always room for growth, always room for improvement. Now, I want to address something that holds a lot of people back from working hard, the need for immediate gratification. We live in a world of instant everything. Fast food, streaming movies, same day delivery. We've been conditioned to expect results now, right now. But real success doesn't work that way. Real success is like planting a tree. You have to do the work up front. Prepare the soil, plant the seed, water it regularly. And then you have to wait, you have to keep nurturing it day after day, often with no visible signs of progress. And then one day you see a tiny sprout. And if you keep at it, that sprout grows into a mighty tree. Working harder than everyone else means being willing to delay gratification. It means being okay with not seeing results right away. It means trusting the process, believing that your hard work will pay off, even when you can't see the results yet. This is where a lot of people give up. They work hard for a week, a month, maybe even a year, and when they don't see the results they want, they quit. They say, it's not working or it's not worth it. But the truth is, they quit right before the breakthrough was about to happen. Success is not linear. It's not a straight line from A to B. It's messy, it's full of ups and downs, twists and turns. There will be times when you feel like you're making no progress at all. But if you keep pushing, if you keep working harder than everyone else, you will break through. And when you do, all that hard work will suddenly seem worth it. Let me tell you a story about a man named Colonel Sanders. You might know him as the face of Kentucky Fried Chicken, but did you know that he didn't start KFC until he was 65 years old? Before that, he had a series of jobs and failed businesses, but he had a recipe for fried chicken that he believed in. So at an age when most people are thinking about retirement, Colonel Sanders hit the road. He traveled across America, sleeping in his car, cooking chicken for restaurant owners. He was rejected 10 or nine times before someone finally said yes, but he didn't give up. 
He outworked everyone around him. And today, KFC is a global brand worth billions of dollars. The moral of the story? It's never too late to start working hard. It's never too late to chase your dreams. And no matter how many times you fail, if you keep pushing, if you keep working harder than everyone else, you will eventually succeed. If you want to outwork everyone around you, your health, your body is the vehicle that carries your ambitions. If your vehicle breaks down, doesn't matter how driven you are, you are not going anywhere. Working harder than everyone else doesn't mean running yourself into the ground. It doesn't mean sacrificing your health for success. In fact, if you want to uh, sustain high levels of productivity over the long term, you need to take care of yourself. This means getting enough sleep. I know, I know, earlier I talked about waking up early, but that doesn't mean you should be sleep deprived. It means you need to go to bed earlier. Aim for seven, eight hours of quality sleep each night. Your brain needs this time to consolidate memories and recharge. It also means eating right. Fuel your body with nutritious foods, stay hydrated. Cut back on junk food and excessive caffeine. Your body is a machine and like any machine, it runs best on high quality fuel. And don't forget about exercise. Regular physical activity isn't just good for your body, it's crucial for your mind. It reduces stress, improves mood, and boosts cognitive function. Even a 30 minute walk each day can make a huge difference. Remember, Working harder than everyone else is a marathon, not a sprint. You need to be in this for the long haul. Taking care of your health isn't a luxury. It's a necessity if you want to sustain high performance over time. Continuous learning. In today's rapidly changing world, if you are not learning, you are falling behind. The skills that made you successful yesterday might not be enough tomorrow. This means you need to be constantly upgrading your knowledge and skills. Read books take online courses, attend seminars and workshops, listen to podcasts, seek out mentors, be curious about everything. And don't just focus on your specific field. Some of the most innovative ideas come from uh, combining knowledge from different disciplines. So read widely, learn about history, science, art, psychology. You never know where your next big idea might come from. Remember, learning isn't just about acquiring information. It's about applying what you learn. So as you gain new knowledge, always be thinking about how you can use it in your life and work. When you start pushing yourself, when you start working harder than everyone else, you are going to face criticism. People will say, you are obsessed. They will say, you need to relax or take it easy. These people mean well. Often, they are projecting their own fears and insecurities onto you. But here's the truth. Their opinions don't pay your bills. Their opinions don't achieve your dreams. Their opinions don't define your success. You need to develop what I call a Teflon mind. Let criticism slide off you like water off a duck's back. Focus on your goals. Focus on your vision. The only opinion that truly matters is your own. This doesn't mean you should ignore all feedback. Uh, constructive criticism from people you respect can be incredibly valuable. But learn to differentiate between constructive feedback and noise. And remember, the loudest critics are often those who have never dared to do anything great themselves. As you work harder than everyone else, as you push yourself to new heights, you are going to face obstacles. You are going to face setbacks. You're going to face moments of doubt. This is where your mental toughness comes in. Mental toughness isn't about being macho or never feeling fear. It's about persisting in the face of difficulty. It's about getting back up every time you get knocked down. It's about keeping your eye on the prize even when the path gets tough. Develop daily habits that build your mental toughness. Practice gratitude. It's hard to feel sorry for yourself when you're focused on what you are grateful for. Visualize success. See yourself achieving your goals in vivid detail. Use positive self-talk. The way you talk to yourself shapes your reality. And remember, every obstacle you face is an opportunity to grow stronger. Every setback is a chance to learn. Every moment of doubt is an invitation to reaffirm your commitment to your goals. Working harder than everyone else isn't just about achieving success. It's about becoming the best version of yourself. It's about living up to your full potential. You see, we all have greatness within us. We all have the capacity to do extraordinary things. But that greatness doesn't just manifest itself. It requires conscious effort, relentless dedication, and unwavering commitment to personal growth. 
It's about pushing beyond your perceived limits day after day, even when no one's watching. Think about a diamond for a moment. A diamond doesn't start out brilliant and beautiful. It begins as a lump of coal buried deep in the earth. It's only through immense pressure and time that it transforms into something precious. You are that diamond in the making. The pressure you feel, the challenges you face, they are not obstacles. They are the very forces that are shaping you into something extraordinary. You can't just wait for life to apply that pressure. You've got to seek it out. You've got to create it for yourself. That's what working harder than everyone else is all about. It's about voluntarily putting yourself in situations that force you to grow, to adapt, to become better. The power of rest and recovery. Yes, you heard that right. Working harder than everyone else doesn't mean working 24-7 without a break. In fact, strategic rest is crucial for sustained high performance. Think of it like interval training. Athletes don't just run at top speed continuously, they alternate between periods of intense effort and recovery. This allows them to perform at a higher level overall. The same principle applies to your work and life. Schedule regular periods of rest and relaxation. Use this time to recharge, to gain perspective, to let your subconscious mind work on problems. Often our best ideas come when we step away from work and allow our minds to wander. Make your rest as intentional as your work. Don't just collapse on the couch and scroll through social media. Engage in activities that truly rejuvenate you, whether that's spending time in nature, practicing meditation, or enjoying quality time with loved ones. Now, let's address a common misconception about working hard. The idea that it means sacrificing your personal life. Nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, when you work harder and smarter than everyone else, you create more freedom and flexibility in your life. When you are more productive, when you achieve more in less time, you actually free up more time for the things that matter most to you. You can leave work earlier to attend your child's soccer game. You can take that vacation you have been dreaming about. You can pursue hobbies and interests outside of work. The key is to be ruthlessly efficient with your time. Eliminate time wasters. Learn to say no to activities that don't align with your goals. Delegate tasks that others can do. When you are working, be fully present and focused. When you are not working, be fully present with your loved ones or fully engaged in your personal pursuits. Remember, success isn't just about professional achievements. It's about creating a life that's fulfilling in all aspects, career, relationships, health, personal growth. Working harder than everyone else is a means to an end, not the end itself. The end is a life well lived, a life of purpose and meaning. The pace of change in our world is accelerating. Industries are being disrupted. New technologies are emerging. The skills that are in demand today might be obsolete tomorrow. In this environment, the ability to adapt, to learn new skills quickly, to pivot when necessary, they, these are priceless. And guess what? They're all products of hard work. When you consistently push yourself, when you are always learning and growing, you develop the mental flexibility to thrive in any environment. So don't just work hard at your current job or in your current industry. Work hard at becoming adaptable. Learn skills outside your comfort zone. Stay curious about emerging trends. Be willing to reinvent yourself if necessary. The hardest workers aren't just those who put in long hours. They are the ones who are constantly evolving, constantly improving. Working harder than everyone else isn't about competing with others. It's about competing with yourself. It's about waking up each day determined to be better than you were yesterday. Your journey is unique. Your path is your own. Don't waste energy comparing yourself to others or worrying about what they're doing. Channel that energy into your own growth, your own improvement. Because at the end of the day, the only person you need to outwork is the person you were yesterday. Make a commitment to yourself. A commitment to push harder, to reach further, to dream bigger. A commitment to outwork not just everyone around you, but the person you see in the mirror. Because that person, that's your real competition. That's the person standing between you and your dreams. Remember, success isn't owned. It's leased. And rent is due every day. So get out there. Work harder than you've ever worked before. Push past your limits. Embrace the struggle. Because on the other side of that struggle, that's where greatness lives. That's where you will find the best version of yourself.